Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Feeling stuck in a tough situation? There's a way out. How do you get out of difficult situations? Well, Apostle Joshua Selman offers powerful insights. Discover the biblical principles that can guide you through life's challenges. Learn how faith and action can lift you out of any hardship. Rise above your struggles and walk into a new season of breakthrough. Apostle Joshua Selman, guiding you to overcome and thrive. Capacity. Leave the contact of Peter and John to God. There are too many crowds. It's only God who knows the one he has placed the anointing to help you rise up and walk. There are too many people. If you are to look for Peter and John by yourself, you will look for the wrong person because what you were even looking for was wrong. In every generation, there are lepers, people, cripples, may not be physical, but people who are victims of conditions beyond their control. And right now, for many of you, you have been helped by many. Could it be, ladies and gentlemen, that Koinonia has been your gate beautiful? Every week, helpers are bringing you. Helpers are bringing you. Could it be that maybe I'm the one who is standing like that bronze gate you call beautiful. I may not have the power to heal you by myself, but don't worry. In this case, it may not even be Peter and John that will come. One day, the king himself. Hmm. That power will flow through frail vessels and cause you indeed to rise up and walk. Is someone learning? Pay very quick attention. Summary number three. You need to receive the summary to understand the full text. Every manifestation, I want you to listen and write this please, very quickly. Every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life should draw you closer to God, not away from God. Write this and I'll show you something in verse 9. Every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life should draw you closer to God and not away from him how true verse 9 Acts chapter 3 verse 9 verse 8 my apologies 8 8 8 let's read it together one to read and he leaping stood and walked, watch this, and entered with them into the temple. Everybody say, entered with them. Yeah. Hallelujah. He proved to God that his ability to rise up and walk was not a cause because it led him to enter the temple. Remember the story? They were going to pray, but they met a man who said, Lord, I want to pray, but I'm unclean. They will not allow me there. And God said, let me test if you really love me or you are just looking for a miracle. As soon as the man got healed, he did not have the time to run around town. The Bible says he entered into the temple. Many people on getting that miracle, they will forget God, forget Peter, forget John and be on their way back to the city. But not the certain man. May not have a name, but he had a testimony that he loved God. Keep that scripture, please. The Bible says he entered with them. My God, when, my, when God opened my eyes to see this, I said, this is it. He entered into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. For him, it was not enough that he was healed. He said, I can't waste this moment. I've received something right now in a moment. I never imagined in my life that I would walk. I was grateful receiving arms, silver and gold. Now a miracle of miracles has happened in my life. I don't need to be carried again. I don't need to be supported again. 
How could I forget the God if the person who healed me was on his way to go and worship God? I would be stupid to ignore that person and the God he's going to worship. Maybe someday by worshiping him, I'll become a healer myself and be able to heal many people sitting at many beautiful gates. And the man went there. The third summary, every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life should draw you closer to God. Do you know that God is pained in his heart? I tell you sincerely, when believers receive of the abundant mercies of God and it draws them away from him. Many believers cry unto God at the point of need. They cry unto God, Lord, save me. Open doors for me. Give me this. Give me that. And when the miracles come, they forget God. Summary number four, very quickly. For every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life and destiny, listen and write, for every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life and destiny, realize that you owe it to give God thanks, praise, and glory. A long read, but I'll take it again. For every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life, upon your destiny, realize that you owe it to give God thanks, praise, and glory. Verse 9. Realize whenever you receive from God, for every manifestation of his hand on your life, every manifestation of your hand over your destiny you owe it it's a debt you must pay you owe it to give god thanks you owe it to give god praise you owe it to give god glory read verse 9 as loud as you can ready read please and all the people saw him walking and praising god one more time he was not silent he was not careful. He announced it unashamedly. I am that leper. The one you knew yesterday. The one you called Ichabod. I am that destiny, that outcast. It's still me. God can transform. And he was singing. He was walking. He was praising God. For every manifestation of the hand of God upon your life and destiny. Realize, ladies and gentlemen, that you owe it to give God thanks to give God praise, to give God glory. Summary number five. The fifth summary is found in verse 11 and 12. That is a lesson from Peter and John. You would think the entire lesson from the story stops at the man at Gates Beautiful. But there's something to learn from Peter and there's something to learn from John. You're learning, say amen. amen. Watch this. The Bible says, And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John. In fact, give us amplified. KJV or amplified. Amplified. Acts 3.11. Thank you. Now, while he still firmly clung to Peter and John, all the people in utmost amazement ran together and crowded around them in the covered porch. Solomon's porch. Now, verse 12. I like this. My God. My God. My God. My God. These are the kinds of things that will make me read one verse for days. Let's even go back to verse 11. Everybody says celebrity. celebrity. Not after such a spectacular miracle. Say emoji. The Bible says the people stood in utmost amazement. That is a notable miracle. And the Bible says the crowd, remember what they wanted to do at first, prayer. Because of that miracle, nobody was talking prayer again. It was too spectacular. The attention shifted from prayer, from God, to those God used to perform the miracle. But the 11th or the, the final summary we learn in this discourse is found in 11 and 12. Now verse 12. 
And Peter, seeing it, what is the it? Seeing that the attention had shifted from God, the attention had shifted from prayer to him, he said, he answered the people, you men of Israel, why are you so surprised and wondering at this? Why do you keep staring at us as though by our own individual power or active piety we had made this man able to walk? Can you speak like that? After such a miracle, Peter, in the midst of the crowd, the applauds, the beautiful name calling, he saw an opportunity to reveal Jesus. He said, I will not waste this. They can celebrate me and go back home and remain in their idolatry and religiosity but i need to point them to the one who is the doer of this and he said ladies and gentlemen even though you call me a superstar hanging around me coming around my church coming around my conference let me tell you the truth a man can receive nothing except it is given unto him by the lord it takes a lot of humility and a deep knowledge of god deep reverence for God to stand with your result in front of you and tell people as much as you clap for me let me point you to Jesus I cannot end such a powerful miracle such a discussion without showing you this why do you keep staring at us as though it were by our own power or might this man has been able to walk and if you read down to verse 18 we're not reading there for the sake of time but he used every opportunity to reveal Jesus. He began to talk about Jesus. You see that now? Shared the whole story about Jesus. And the people were open to receive. They couldn't deny the message. I like the apostles. Every opportunity they found was an opportunity for them to turn the attention of men. I confess to you that as a generation, we have failed in this area. We're a superstar generation with a passion to let men see us. Doesn't necessarily mean we are bad. It's just something we have to be aware of. When a man who was crippled from his mother's womb stands by your ministry, stands by your hand, stands by your apostleship, stands by your knowing God, stands from your crusade, let me tell you the truth. It takes the fear of God and reverence for God that while the people are clapping and singing your songs and singing your praises, as you enjoy all the applauds, you must be like Peter. The Bible says when Peter saw it, he knew that this had gone out of proportion. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, even in the midst of this great result, I am not ashamed to confess to you that it is not by my power or the might of my hand. That could cost him his relevance. That could cost him his sense of influence, honor. But he would rather decrease for Jesus to increase. Did you hear what I said? He would rather decrease for Jesus to increase. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Every opportunity you find, every opportunity to be used by God to bring miracles, to bring healings, to bring liftings, to bring prosperity, to connect men to their destiny, to teach them the word, to raise a people for God. The moment God uses you mightily and the nations begin to celebrate you, remember the song that has become our anthem in this place, that until the nations see Jesus beyond Joshua Selman, that must become your from your life, that your intention is not to give him glory. You are just saying that as a religious cliche so it does not look like you are stealing out God's glory. My passion has always been and for the rest of my life will remain this passionate desire to truly see the nation, see what God can do first through men but that it transfers glory back to him. That the nations praise God because you are alive. The nations will praise God because you are a preacher.
Praise God because you're a businessman. Praise God for the prophetic upon your life. Praise God for the apostolic ministry. Undeniable, unusual dimensions of grace. That when you submit yourself to prayer and intercession, and God through your intercessory ministry open doors for people, as they celebrate you, the blessings will come to you. They will sow into your life. They will appreciate you. They will recommend you. That's your blessing for serving God. But make sure, make sure that in all your doing you will point men to him while you are pointing men to him people will say keep quiet if you point men to him what do you have now as your own share let me tell you the truth be satisfied when he's glorified through your life that is a noble reward very noble reward i'm going to be speaking prophetically over your life back to verse 6 amplified whilst you are seated lay your hands on your head in one minute and decree and declare it's time to rise up and walk acts chapter 3 and verse 6 something very heavy is coming on someone now the ability to rise up and walk can i have amplified classic is that possible if i can have amplified classic else just go back to kjv Please lay your hands and pray. AMPC, you don't have that? If there's no AMPC, that's fine. Just. Shabala sabre salade shabas. It's time to rise up and walk. To rise up and walk in ministry. To rise up and walk new spiritual horizons faith for unusual dimensions faith for extraordinary dimensions faith for extraordinary exploits exploits that dumbfound principalities and powers that reveals god so mightily in the world of men someone take a minute to pray as you receive this impartation tonight Prasasiman takala barandos kavriyash. Hallelujah. When you read verse 6 from Amplified Classic, it says, Begin now to walk and go on walking. It says, In the name of Jesus, begin now to walk. And then go on walking begin now that means you may not have started but begin now to walk and then go on walking begin now to walk and then go on walking begin now to walk and then go on walking hallelujah rise up and walk can mean get back your prayer altar get back your passion for the word it can mean rise to a new level it can mean get to the more lands to conquer joshua chapter 13 and verse 1 let me give you two scriptures and then i'll speak over your life quickly joshua chapter 13 and 1 now joshua was old and stricken in years and the lord said unto them listen koinonia thou art old and stricken in age and there remained yet very much land to be possessed there's no time to plateau in the spirit. The level of healing you have seen is not all there is. The level of the prophetic you have seen is not all there is. The level of the apostolic you have seen, in fact, is child's play compared to what is obtainable in the spirit. The level of wealth you have seen is not all there is to be seen. One more scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 2, 24 and 25. Very powerful scripture. It says, rise ye up. Take your journey. And pass over river Arnon. Behold, I have given into thy hand Sihon, the Amorite, the king of Heshbon, and his land. Then he says, begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. I have given you, but begin to possess. Verse 25. 25. This day will I begin to put the dread of thee 
and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heavens who shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee I have given you but begin to possess I have given you that ministry I have given you Abuja I have given you Nigeria I have given you Port Harcourt I have given you Joss I have given you Maiduguri I have given you every sphere but begin to possess it a call to do more for the kingdom a call to rise to new horizons let me tell you this listen I've worked with God a bit and I have certain seasons in my life called defining moments physical calendar seasons where by my work with God God calls me it's like a solemn assembly I'm called by God and every time those seasons come exact seasons in the year three of them every year three major seasons that define moments in my life and in this apostolic and prophetic work and every time those seasons come and God calls me that that call that solemn assembly I know that it is a time for new wine it's a time for pruning and chastisement it's a time to open other assignments the major assignments in this ministry have come within those seasons whether it is koinonia abuja global expansion sound of revival whatever it is and so when those seasons come i am usually very sensitive because i know it is time to rise up and walk for someone you may not have those seasons like me but today now that you have heard that word that is your own season in ministry God is saying if you continue this way you can't do much for the kingdom are we together you can't preach incoherent disoriented sermons you are standing and just talking and people don't even understand what you are saying it's time to rise for mastery in fact if you can I recommend that you listen to the teachings two sessions that we had in UK just a few months come up here go to Koinonia Global and you get them there it can add to this teaching that you have received come up here two sessions a morning session and a night session I teach there two profound principles it's important to not plateau sometimes when i see people satisfied where they are satisfied with the level of the healing anointing satisfied with the level of their prophetic you know um administration satisfied with the apostolic no there is no plateauing for the believer so god is calling someone tonight that it's time to rise up and walk rise up above challenges rise up above limitations cultural limitations territorial limitations for someone rise up above the grip of spirits they've held everybody around you you can't keep giving excuses not when light has come you have the ability to see you have the ability to ask in prayer you even have the humility to be carried and by the grace of God there are men who love you enough to carry you through that hurdle he says by you I can run through a troop by my God I can leap over a wall stop giving excuses that the fence is too high why don't you rest in the everlasting arm of the king the one who can lift you man of God it's time to step into the new anointing the excuses you have been given about the anointing is too flimsy there are virgin dimensions in the spirit there is power to be obtained in this end time the oil is still dripping flowing to as many who are hungry to as many who are thirsty not to men of God but to hungry people the spirit of revelation is still flowing it's like a river flowing from the throne to as many who are thirsty come and drink that you drink and from your belly will flow that river of living water do you know there are dimensions of healing 
that God still wants to bring and some to restore to the body of Christ. There are apostolic dimensions our generation has not seen that God wants to trap in men and reveal again. There are prophetic dimensions God wants to reveal. There are dimensions of wealth and financial stewardship that God wants to bring. We are going to pray. Whether you are sitting, whether you are standing, it does not matter. Can I give you one minute? Please cry to God. Cry. I don't know how you are going to cry to God. Don't waste this. It's an opportunity to rise up and walk. Go ahead and pray. Cry to God. Cry to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hey, I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Pray, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. In the name of Jesus, I want you to receive this from the depth of your heart. Like fire from heaven, right now, upon as many who are hungry to receive. This grace that is higher than silver and gold, I stretch my hands. As God has granted the grace to bring this truth to you, I speak to someone. The grace that causes men to rise up and walk, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Higher spiritual dimensions. Receive it right now. Higher prophetic dimensions. Shapakatos kata. Ebratose senemekata. Receive it right now. The spirit of revelation at a higher dimension. Receive it right now. The grace for prayer and supplication. Receive it right now. I activate your prophetic encounters at a frequency you have never seen. I speak to you spiritually. Rise up and walk. Financially, rise up and walk in your career rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and run rise up and fly rise up and soar rise up and break limits rise up and break boundaries in the name of Jesus rise up and do what has never been done Rise up and surpass ordinary standards in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit that comes into men and causes them to rise and to fly in destiny. May that grace rest upon you. May that unction rest upon you. May that grace in that anointing let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. And everything keeping you down in spite of the fact that Peter and John God's vessels are already within your vicinity and yet there are things keeping you down I don't care what they are I crush them for your sake forever I crush them for your sake forever in the name of Jesus I declare over someone 
we don't know how old that man was we were not given the privilege to know how long his condition was but one thing we know is that from a baby to an adult is at least 18 years when that man was met we do not see him carrying any semblance of a baby the Bible will identify young men as young men like the rich young ruler but this man certainly was not a young man so it is safe to assume that from birth until the time was at least 18 years I don't know how long your challenges have lasted there is a word I want to introduce to your life is the word immediately the Bible says immediately you would think the longevity of the trouble the calamity would make his healing be gradual but the Bible says immediately another word for immediately is speedy manifestation that is my prophetic word over you let there be speedy manifestations let there be speedy manifestations speedy manifestations of prophecy speedy manifestations of grace of favor of lifting of new levels of a new chapter in the name of Jesus please hear me for some of you as you return as you come for the miracle service you are not just going to come to testify you are going to come to draw those who will come and testify because I am not only standing as Peter and John I am releasing upon you now that you have arisen in the name of Jesus be Peter and John to someone else I say it again be Peter and John to a family be Peter and John to a business be Peter and John to a ministry agents of change careers of the anointing conduits of spiritual possibilities in the name of Jesus that as you come for the miracle service next week for some of you whole families will follow you listen the Bible says the man who was healed clung to Peter he went wherever Peter went in the name of Jesus by reason of this grace I forbid you from coming to the house of God alone your impact in the life of families will be too significant for them to watch you go to church alone in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise wave your hands give him all the praise give him all the glory don't be tired of waving your hands blessed be the name of the Lord Hosanna to the King of Kings this is what God can do hallelujah hallelujah keep standing everyone the altar call one announcement very quickly and we're done why do we make time for the altar call because this is our core mandate to see many encounter Jesus and because we believe in the fact that God adds daily as many as should be saved let me your attention please you don't need any coercion Jesus is calling you you need to rededicate your life to Jesus or you need to make an, a surrender for the first time it doesn't matter how far you've gone away from the cross now that you are in the house of God following online or you are in this place Jesus wants to give you a new beginning wherever you are please I'd like you to boldly take your bags your Bibles whatever you came to church with please step forward come right here before me give me the honor of leading you to this Jesus the one Peter and John introduced to the people don't sit back when you know you should be here come let's celebrate them as they come where is that one person who needs to come to Jesus that brother that sister that mother that father koinonia keep clapping Jesus is drawing many to himself for some of you you are coming like that one leper to say thank you for the word I've heard I want to make it right with you come 
If you are coming, hurry up. We have just a minute for you. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Let's encourage them. God bless you. Bless you, my brother. Bless you, my sister. The Bible says, as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. Hallelujah. 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 Where are you from? Yes. Where are you coming from? Don't miss the miracle service next week. Hmm? I don't know you. Don't miss the miracle service next week. Please pay any price on that God. Make sure you are here. The Lord wants to change your story. You believe that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. There is one lady, you are supposed to join those who are in front here. I just saw this in my vision. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed. I just saw one lady. This is what? I don't know where that lady is, but Jesus Christ is calling you. Don't be ashamed. Come. Come and stand. He's calling you. Lift your right hand, my dear brothers and sisters. God bless you as you come. Jesus is calling you. You see, when the Holy Spirit convicts you, listen, hold on. When the Holy Spirit convicts you, make sure you don't fight him. He always is for your best interest. Don't be rebellious in the house of God. Once you hear that nudging, that man of God is speaking to you. Obey and come. For every time you delay in your obedience, you recycle seasons of pain. Are we together? I want to thank you, all of you, my brothers and my sisters. Please lift your right hand high above your head. You're joining them. Do so quickly. Say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive your life into my spirit. And I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for this once. I decree and declare that they are saved. And I declare that they walk in righteousness for the rest of their lives. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. From tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please look to my right. That will be your left. There are counselors waving the placard just to have a very quick word with you. And then you are back to your seat. Koinonia, let's honor them very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you all for your patience. Just one announcement or two. First, um, the aesthetics department, those who are responsible for beautifying the house of God and for anything decor and aesthetics, they are open as a department for new members. All of you who are gifted and graced in that area, um, you want to be part of the department, please you can move to the back, the PR stand. There will be an official there to guide you. Immediately we share the grace. Just take a minute or two. Be patient. Someone will attend to you. And then you can register your interest. They'll get your details and find a way of reaching you. The Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. This is announcing that next week is our miracle service for the month of May. Come on. Is this how you clap? Hallelujah. Let me tell you why I announce miracle services like this. One, so that you will know and prepare your spirit. Two, so that you will do the work of an evangelist. Nobody here should come with at least two or three people, with less than two or three people. You should be able to invite the people. It's not for the showmanship of, of crowd. God has blessed us beyond that level. It is to give people an opportunity. And for those who are not able to come on site, Make sure they connect online. 
you will literally change the destinies of nations as you connect them. If this has blessed you and this ministry is lifting you, make sure that many people become part of this. We may be limited in terms of space, you see, but there are currently tens of thousands of people following this moment as I speak, but there's still space for tens of thousands of others to connect. And so every one of us do the work of an evangelist. Make sure that you invite as many people, connect to all our social media platforms, especially the broadcasts, not just of this service, but of any other one. Here are our platforms. Make sure you connect all our global expressions, Koinonia Global, Abuja, Zaria, UK, Canada, US. You can connect to the global platform and then also connect to the platform that is specific to your region so that you are able to follow so that you can receive updates and together we keep growing as a great family have you been blessed tonight please rise up on your feet as we wrap up the lord bless you in jesus name Amen. may the hand of god rest upon you Amen. i declare to you this prophetic word rise up and walk will be evident in your life Amen. next week is your turn to testify Amen. you remain uh, blessed all through the week manifesting the hand of God in your life, your business, your place of work. You will not die. You will not go down. You will not fall. You will not fail. You remain victorious forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Together let's share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please greet someone on your way out. God bless you and see you next week. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.